y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video we're going to make stuffed baked apples. So good, so healthy, you can have them for breakfast or dessert. But before we get started make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe and like this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the ingredients and we'll get started. For this recipe of course you're going to need apples, oats, pecans, almond flour, maple syrup, coconut sugar, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and salt, and you're also going to need hot water, which I've got boiling in my kettle back there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my oven turned on. Now I'm gonna get my filling and my streusel mixed up so that when I carve out the apples, we can go ahead and stuff them and bake them this recipe is super quick and easy, and like I said, great for breakfast or dessert or a snack, any time of day you want it really. And it feels very much like fall, warm, cozy, apple-y, cinnamon-y, sweet, inviting. So I've got two bowls here, one for my streusel and one for my filling. We're going to start by mixing all of the filling ingredients together and all of the streusel ingredients together. So you can use walnuts or pecans for this recipe. I ran out of walnuts yesterday, so we're using pecans. Don't mind using the pecans though. They are fresh from a local pecan farm. And they buy these at the farmer's market. I will leave a link to their website down below. So I'm gonna chop my pecans up pretty small because that's the way I like them. But if you want big pecan chunks, you can leave them large. <laughs> I think I chopped up a bit more than I needed, but I will save those aside and just sprinkle them on top. just enough maple syrup in there to moisten the flour and the sugar. It's really nice and crumbly. Mm. Of course, make sure to wash your apples first. Take the stickers off. That's what I'm about to do right now. If you have an apple core, use it. If not, you're just going to want to use a small paring knife. If you do it with a core, you have a little flower. I also just think it is easier. Once we've got our apples prepared, 
card, I'm just going to place them in a cupcake tray. I feel like this is a really great option because it keeps them standing upright. And I'm gonna take all of this apple that we just cut out of there and chop it up and throw it in the filling. perfect it can just be like a rough chop now we can take our filling and stuff these apples you're gonna want to stuff it really full the apples in it are going to cook down. And I've got quite a bit of filling left over, so I'm going to stick it in the fridge and have it as overnight oats tomorrow morning. Now we're just going to sprinkle some of that streusel on top. And it's kind of moldable. moldable. Ugh. So you can kind of just mold it to the top. And then again, any streusel left over, you can have with your overnight oats. You can just mix it in with your overnight oats. But I'm going to put a good layer of streusel on here because I like a nice crispy topping. I may have over baked them a little bit, but they still look really, really good. And they're still gonna taste amazing. Little extra pecan on there. And this is what your stuffed apple looks like. You can also serve this as a dessert with a little bit of ice cream on top. That is really nice. Or a little bit of coconut whip, you know whatever up to you i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter hit the like button if you like this video subscribe ring the bell so you never miss a delicious recipe and i'll see y'all next time for some more fall inspired recipes that's right we've got fall pumpkin apple all those kind of recipes all month long so i'll see y'all next time bye y'all